Hi everyone. All right, welcome to this place if you're new here, and <laughs> welcome back if you're returning. Uh, if you are new, it's called the Opal Oracle. So, uh, Scorpio season. I thought it would be fun uh, to see what gifts Scorpio season is bringing everyone. We're going to do a little collective reading. We'll go sign by sign. Uh, I feel like we'll do a separate. Someone suggested something really cool recently where it's like, you know, maybe we'll do a pick a card on, especially in Scorpio time, like, you know, what we're letting go of, because that's a big part of this season, you know, shedding something, releasing something, healing something soulfully, etc. Uh, accepting something, right? Um, and feeling empowered in that. So, but we'll do, we'll do a different, like, pick a card on that energy, like, I actually came up with, like, this slasher movie. <laughs> thing it's like what do we need to let die and like what shall we let live you know like not to be dramatic here we're not talking real life we're not talking real things like being literal we're we're just we're understanding life is a metaphor so scorpio let's see is it the top ones nope split them yep scorpio what gift shall you be receiving in this time hold on a second let's see okay Ace of Coins and the Hanged Man. Interesting. What gift are you receiving? What gift are you receiving in this time, Scorpio? Give me a second. Well, I guess it's a whole new opportunity um, to kind of create like a new life for yourself. Um... I'm seeing this hangman for some of you. There's like a cell phone on it with a person that's like not that happy. I guess maybe it is your birthday and this is your energy so you're used to it. It's like there must be something where you may have to like cut off where communication has been cut off in some kind of way or like there's some kind of distance with something. But... The distance actually creates an opportunity. Again, it's almost like you're going this way. So let's, all right, so it's always a gift to let go, especially with your energy, right? And we have to be accepting of it. When fixed energy gets fixed and not wanting to change, then all you do is hurt yourself. You know, it, it, it doesn't even really affect other people that much. It just, it's like Taurus energy. You just end up like stabbing yourself, you know, and it's, it's not necessary. So part of that needed to be discussed, I guess. So whatever you're not connected to anymore, say in the physical world, this ace of coins, that's okay. Spirit is showing up here where you're meant to have a whole new perspective. Again, maybe on what's possible this year or like, you know, cause this little phone thing could be where some of you, it's not like an ex or something like that. For some of you, it might be or a friend or, but I'm also seeing it where it, it could even go into like, oh, my kids are grown. Like they didn't pick up the phone, you know, that kind of, that kind of where it's like, you're not disconnected from anything that you were ever connected to, you know, and really this year, especially those of you who are Scorpio sun or, or, you know, have a lot of Scorpio energy. It's like this really, this is, this is the kind of seed that you plant and this is with spirit too, you know, where you like plant the seed, but this is almost like garlic because we're getting into winter. You put it in the ground, you have intention, you realize you have to wait for something. Um, while this is happening, you also go and do all the other things you need to do. And then usually nine months from then, it pops up, right? So maybe that's a time frame also um, that's important. This could also be a different means of communicating, too. You know, maybe it's just being more empowered in your speech. Um, maybe it's being... Uh, some of this could also be where people's intuition... I heard if they've gotten the yuck out of the way, then the there could actually be a really strong spiritual connection here. That could also help a person feel really stable. Um... And I heard if any of you are in a situationship, I don't, I don't know if, 
I, that's, that's, I don't, I, I just pulled the, I, I saw someone like crossing their fingers. It's just like, it's something either is or it isn't. So whatever is not, just try to be like, okay, <laughs> you know, as much as possible. And that which is, and that which can be, or will be, that's up to you. And, you know, maybe even between now and the new year, I would also just take some time. Maybe it's a disengaging from technology a little bit, you know, where it's kind of like, all right, let me be more in nature. Let me be more in myself. Let me let me be more tangible in my world. And and what is it that you really uh, believe is is possible? Because um, this is like a year long goal is the way I'm seeing it too. So what you believe is gonna is gonna this it's this Jupiterian energy and actually Jupiter is retrograde till the end of the year. So for some of you this could be hard for you to see exactly and then when the new year comes it will it'll be easier again like all of a sudden there will be some different perspective about something and you know maybe some of you are wanting to like i don't know if you want to launch a business or something like that too or or if you're um looking to elevate in in these kinds of ways i'd i'd it, it could be something between now and uh i'm seeing now december january and then march Okay, so maybe there's a process in there. Alrighty then. We're going to start at 7. I'm not rushing these, so we'll do Sagittarius in a second. <sighs> Sagittarius, what gift is Scorpio season bringing you? Oh, uh, we have to look at what we have to let go of. Okay. Okay. So. Just a second. Well, I'm seeing all these stories. Um kind of about what is uh there's layers to that and then and then it's kind of like what decisions have been made and what decisions can be made um i feel like many of you have been feeling really down about anything or just like bummed a little bit there's something about September here, um, which actually has a lot of positivity. There's all these birch trees here, which is usually to me connects to the deer. This was a beautiful house here. Um, so I feel like, I guess one of the things that could be the gift of Scorpio season could be kind of alleviating or like having some of the things that have been bumming you out or worrying you kind of like drift into the background. You know, maybe some of you, for instance, are like worried about your children or something like that. Or you're, you're worried about your husband or you're like you're worried about somebody. I feel like a lot of this stress actually comes from something outside of you. So maybe that's part of what a part of Scorpio time is helping you to adjust so that you feel more confident and maybe even a little bit more protected to be vulnerable. You know what I mean? Where, where you feel like, all right, I'm allowed. I heard I'm allowed to be soft. You know, especially most of you here are females. When you're when you're a fire female, you're intense, right? You're super intense, and you're allowed to be whoever you are. But why well, heard we all need softness, right? And to be able to lean on other people, even if it's just. I just saw someone tuck their head in someone's shoulder, you know, little pocket here and like finally be like, Phew. so I know it's a little easier said than done, but, but try to be aware of, um, more of what you, well, what it is that you do have. That's awesome. Right. 
you know, because if it's if you're just looking at what you don't have for some reason, if any of you are in that zone, it's going to pull you into that shadow during Scorpio season pretty strong. So you want to the way for you to elevate is to be like you want to back up from something. Okay, you want to back up from something. You know, say say let's make an example. Say some of you are like ah oh, this house or like ah oh, whatever. It's just like back up really. Go as far away. Go to, go to the other side of the street and look at your house. You know, and like, where were you when you moved in there? Or like, what, it's, it's, it's like this, there's a perspective shift. And it may help you to realize, again, like what you do have versus what you do not, you, you do not have. Or, or maybe again, what you're letting go of. Um, and for you, mostly, it's emotionally than it is physically. Okay, so it, I feel like that part isn't really the problem. It's, it's the... And, and again, something about Scorpio season is, is allowing that to fade, something to fade into the background that wasn't serving you anyway, you know. I mean, this could be about your father, 1111, I don't know, something like this. Um, Scorpio also had this nine months from now, so that's about uh, next summer right so maybe he's making some plans about that you know winter time for instance especially those of you who are in the cold it's just like i know it gets dreary it's dark early like it, it's i get it i get it so it's you know i come from the land of ice and snow i get it but it's also like okay well what's your plans uh you know what what are your plans for next year right and being really appreciative for what you have now really important um i also feel like some plant medicine could be helpful i don't know if you like herbal remedies or some kind of um like flower essence or if it's just like having plants in the house over the winter could be helpful something that's green right something that's alive could also help you um to kind of lighten energy, right? I heard you want to be cozy, okay? Because you know what? Uh, some of you need to hear this. The life that you have, maybe I don't know if it's your job, who you're married to, um, your family, your kids, like your house where you live. There are other people in the world that are like, what you have is what they have always wanted and are working towards. So realize I heard in that sense how far you have come as well. This may help to keep, again, something in check so that it doesn't uh, waste its time again like, and allows whatever this, this other energy to float, to kind of fade again into the background. Okay? I love you, Sage. All right, Capricorn. Let's see Capricorn. We'll try to look at the gift that Scorpio time is giving you. It seems to be shifting as we go along. Oh, no. No, we just got to... I don't know why I keep trying. I mean, a gift in Scorpio time is letting go of something, right? Um, so, some of you can bury your fear. <laughs> what do you let die in this slasher? Maybe that's what we're doing. It's like, what do you let die in this situation? Fear. Let it just wither away. It's it, it can't, you know, fear can't, uh, like, live on its own. It has to be fueled by something. It has to be fed. You know, has to be fed. So if you don't feed it, it dies. It dies. That's it. Um, oh, that scared some of you. Okay, let's move along. What are we talking about? We're talking about what to feed, what to nurture, what to give your time to. Um, actually, those of you who have worked on some inner child work, some mother wound energy. I know most of us here, we're on the same page, so we're going to roll with it. Inner child energy, mother wound energy, being abused by other women. Whatever the situation, it, this could even have to do with your own children, that which you do not have or is, aren't here anymore or whatever the situation is. It's like there's some, 
the work that has been done in there, it's like you're finally at a stage. I, I feel like this, this season and as we move along, it could be now, I see, until May. Um, you also have something about August, too. It's like there could be a whole new rejuvenation of energy where, like, you you complete some kind of... Oh, there's some kind of awareness, again, that, that buries the fear that keeps people hanging on to that which they don't need to. It's awesome. You can just... Because that was tight. What we are just doing there, that was a tight grip on that. I mean, the, the tension kind of feels good, though. Maybe for some folks, it's more comfortable to fist the cuff. If this, I heard, if this ain't you, hold some boundaries. St stay away. Know, know your boundaries. Know, know where, where you're at. Okay? Now, <clears throat> interesting. Hold on a second. Capricorn. Well, you have eight of you have five of coins, eight of coins. So we have all Earth here. The gift that okay, so we always have to talk about what we have to let go of. Once that's addressed, acknowledged, then we can move into what is the gift? <laughs> what is the gift? You know, because I guess it's receiving, right? We have to let go and go here. Okay, I'm ready now. I heard I'm ready now. Now, this reminds me of Virgo's reading um, when we did all those church signs where it says, um, God can move mountains, but don't be surprised when he hands you a shovel. <laughs> I love Southern church signs. But you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot that comes through your own efforts here. And I feel like this reminds me of your reading in October. It's like all that hard work. However far you've come thus far, where it was intentional, you know, where you're like, man, that, that hurts, or fuck, that scares me, or, ah, I'm terrible at that. <laughs> you know, I want to get, I'd like to get better at this. Let me practice and, like, work towards this. Then there's some kind of reward where things just seem easier. You end up with the tools you need to do exactly what you need to do. And I feel like you bury something in November, you bury something, and what that actually does, it, it, and again, I see burying some kind of fear. And in that sense, it, it's like all of a sudden there starts being like lights in the dark. And then you have this new awareness um, of, of, of being like more comfortable in your body. You know what I mean? Being more comfortable in this life. Like you, um, you know you can do it. You know it can be done. You know. It's very Aquarian. It's like a Saturn Aquarius. Like it's, it's a solid knowing. Like maybe it's where like a belief was a little shaky or something. And now that belief is becoming more, you know, it's, it's different when we say, oh, I believe so. You know, is that true? Well, I believe so. Or it's like, no, I know that's true. It's different. It's like it gets another layer, but it's not egotistical. You know, it's it's not brash. It's not. It's just like it's more of a where a person feels more solid in themselves. Nineteen minutes. We'll take that sun card. We'll take that. Oh, that emphasizes August again. Interesting. Good. Uh, especially if any of you have like um, some Leo Aquarius energy and wherever that is in your map. I feel like that's that's being worked out also. This also shows me, I guess, your fifth and your eighth house. So this could also be your capacity and ways of... Well, there's so many layers here. I feel like we could do a, like a whole separate session on this. Interesting. We can go off the two cards like that. So anything in the material world also, I really feel like... I see you don't have to worry about money either. Like you have what you need. Um, maybe some of you are also bearing a fear about money, perhaps. Or what you could again have in this physical world. 
fixing something with Taurus. It's feeling more solid with Taurus, Pisces, Libra. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're going to go to Aquarius. Aquarius, let's see in Scorpio season what you have to let go of and what the gift that is coming to you. Oh, I saw you more as a gift first. Let's look at that. That's cool. Um, for some of you, part of the gift that could come to you during the Scorpio season is some passion in your relationships. Uh, if that's been lacking, especially if you've been married or if you're in like a committed relationship, it's sort of gotten regular. There could be a little bit more passion in there. Um, that makes sense, actually, for this time. Uh, some of your creative spark could also come through. Um, I heard you know what's right. You know what to do. Um, if for some reason you want to talk to your partner about something, but you're not sure how to say it, or you know that they really want to talk to you, I guess this could just be other people in your life. But if it's in a more like personal way, I almost feel like if you either don't, if you or they don't know what to say, it would almost be wise. I'm seeing someone like having a little fire. And that almost like opens up something. This little fire helps to ignite some. But it, and again, somebody else had this. It like puts uh, light into the night. You know, helps things kind of move around or like be in awe of something. Just a minute. Well, I'm seeing fire rising. Fire rising. Uh, so what do you want, Aquarius? Um, what do you want, Aquarius? Like, as an individual and in relation to other people. This could be work. It could be romance. Um, I saw just a bunch of friends, a little, cup, a little like, circle of people, again, like, friends kind of around a fire. Uh, this could also be, like, where someone's also becoming, like, more comfortable in one-on-one -on -one situations, right? Sometimes you're a group person, uh, Aquarius, like, I mean, not to stereotype, but I'm just going to give some examples that I know is like a lot of Aquariuses that I know, like they'll, they don't mind being around a bunch of people, you know, it'd be like you go to a bar, but like you're, you're the one like over here, you know, but there's a lot of people around or like people, I used to know this home girl that would like have these huge parties at her house. Um, but she was always like hiding off in this one little spot. It's like, it's more of this intimate um, that's a part of the gift that's coming. And, and again, this could come through just, again, being creative through friendship. It could be, again, passion in your relationships. It's actually really beautiful. And actually, with, with this justice card being here, I guess we have Leo energy. Oh, Leo, that keeps coming. I wonder what will happen collectively with the Leo, because that's, that's a square to Scorpio. Um... Libra, Leo. So what is this? This is love in your heart. <laughs> this is um, this is creative relationships. So who's inspiring to you um, could be a part of it. And, and I also want you to know how inspiring you are to other people, whether you realize it or not. You know? Interesting. Oh, you had a different energy than the rest of them. Cool. What else do we have going on here? 
Well, I suppose we, I guess we could look at what is it that you may have to let go of. Well, I guess fire does purify something, so... How do I see this? There's a tooth. <laughs> Keep saying a tooth. Oh, part of what some of you are getting rid of in this time, the Scorpio's uh, helping you remove, is uh, your fangs. Your fangs. So any of you have a sharp tongue? Well, you're so smart, right? No, I love all the Aquariuses here. I, I know we're different. But the point is, is that like that little sharp tooth, I heard shark tooth. What is that? It's like sharks are solo. They feel alone. They like, it, it's it's like even when they're surrounded, right? How can I be the lonely fish in the sea? It's like, it's always got kind of like a frown on its face. It's like something's <laughs> changing in this way, which is really good. And maybe for some of you, this is expressing what it is, like someone's learning to express more about what they want. You know? Like, I heard, what do you want me to do? I don't know if this is spirit talking to you or whoever this is. It's like someone, someone's like this. So it's being able to answer the question and also approaching things from a really creative point of view. You know? I do feel like the other people in your life are so inspiring. Huh. All right. Let's move along. We'll do 2727 for Pisces. Dun, 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 Pisces. Oh, my. Four of Wands in the Strength card. Okay, there's more Leo energy. This is pretty powerful. Okay, so... Oh, I guess the sun is in Scorpio. All right, moving along. Pisces. So you have Four of Wands in the Strength card. So there's something very creative going on with home. Um, we kind of have, like... Both these are a little bit of fixed energy, so I don't know if there's something in the home that needs to be fixed. Um... Could also just be uh, something like I see, keep seeing something like kind of being arranged in a certain way. I don't know if this is making. I heard making more space to play, like if it's something having to do with creative energy. Um, someone I guess could also be considering like, uh, how do I see this? Well, Four of Wands technically is a marriage card, and then we have Strength. So, so there are some relationships right now in your life that are very strong, Pisces. Very strong and very steady. Like, I'm seeing the Four of Wands as, like, um, you know, they're, they're setting the points to where the cornerstones would be, right? It's like there's work that, that's been premeditated about where something goes. Like, I'm seeing, like... Someone found, like, a plot, and then they're like, okay, here, here's these four points. And they're like, okay, from here, we're going to build up from there. And I guess in whatever ways you're building like this, this may take uh, your endurance, or um, I guess you, could, you may need the strength of others. I don't know if this is just, like, optimism, like, hey, you can do it. Uh, I actually see a lot of relationships like that, too. Where, like, that which is in your life, especially who you live with, if you happen to be married in a, in a committed relationship, there again, sometimes strength card is, like, where there's a struggle all the time. This is more like a person understands their human nature. Like, they understand their nature. And then they also understand, like, they have, like, a wild, a little bit of a wild side to them, but it's... It's like, so the people that are going to be in your life are, are it's like they're already 
tamed. They're not like these insane, I heard, wild beasts. You know, it's more like I feel safe with you. You know, like I feel it inspired by you. I There could be a lot of passion, too, uh, with this big uh, lion head. So you have a major here, too. I think almost all the signs got majors. Let's go back through, just for good measure. You always connect to everybody, don't you? Because you know, and you know your map, so you're going to be looking at it this way. Good job. So you received strength. Aquarius received justice. Capricorn didn't get a major. They're all they're all set there. Sag didn't either. It's all little stuff. Scorpio got the hangman. Okay, so I guess some of you could move. If you are moving, you may need a hand. Don't be heavy lifting. <laughs> I heard don't be heavy lifting too much. Um <clears throat> Maybe that's what part of you are realizing is you may be letting go a little bit. Somebody may be letting a go, letting a letting a go of a little bit of their pride. Which therefore actually has an opportunity to be able to receive more. Right. And you know what, that may be a good indication for some of you about the kind of folks that are meant to be in your life. You know, through the Scorpio time, it's like, say you do ask for help. Say you're like, man, this is hard. Like, I need a hand. And someone's just like, eh, I'm busy. You know, like, it's that kind of, like, dismissive energy. When, particularly if you're a person that doesn't generally ask for help. If you get shot down real quick, then you'll just know that, it's, no, th there's something wrong about that. Um, interesting. What's going on? Oh, there's a little Christmas tree on this card. It doesn't have its lights on it yet. There's a cool bookcase, too. Four candles. Oh, I love those arched doorways, don't you? Oh yeah, these little trees are actually trees you can plant again. Like you could you could re you could plant them and then wherever you put them, they grow bigger too. So something's really expanding for you Pisces. Um So I heard believe in home, believe in love. And I see again, make, make space. Ah. To be within where you are. 33, 33. Okay. We'll do 33, 44 for good measure. Interesting. All right, Aries, let's see what Scorpio time, what the gift is during Scorpio time. Okay, Aries, this is an adjustment point to you. Just a second. Okay, you have minor arcana. So... I guess for some of you, you've ar you've already let go of something bigger this year, right? Say over the last year, from November last year to November now, right? There must have been something big that you let go of. And I feel like for some of you, what you let go of was um, well. Let, let's keep let's keep going. happening in this card well in this card there's two hands that are open 
they are creating. There's lots of people. There's lots of connection there. These are vessels. There are also vessels here that like hold water. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like they're all emptied. They're emptied now. And these, these cups are clean. So... I heard no need to trick yourself. That you cannot achieve the golden mean. Let me see what this one's about. I mean, I guess some of you could be letting go of liars in your life or people that are just are not honest. Like they say one thing and they do another. It's it's like it's always some trickery. Like you could just finally be like, okay. You know, I heard boundary, boundary. Um... Interesting cards. Hold on a second, Aries. <sighs> what gift is Scorpio season giving you? It's the gift of emotional maturity and honesty. That's what you receive. And the, you will have more of this, not only through yourself, but also in your, in your world. Particularly having to do with the other people in your life and in ways of dating. Uh, marriage, etc. That when we get into these other levels, again, business or romance, it doesn't matter. It's like that will be expanding more. The more I heard you have been honest with yourself, and uh, whatever these dirty dishes are, <laughs> you know, because it's almost as if at some point someone didn't have something, you know. They didn't have something. Or they kept trying. They're like, well, does this make you happy? Does this make you happy? Does this make you happy? Is this going to work? Is this going to work? And it's just like, no, 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 no. It's like nothing. It. Well, I heard stay away from insanity. What does that mean? What's the definition of insanity? A person keeps trying the same things and expecting a different result, <laughs> right? Yeah, Seven of Swords, because it's here twice now. I And I actually saw this before, this character here. If there's anybody mean in your life, please don't think that they won't be mean again. Okay? I heard you can forgive and forget, but like, don't think that they aren't... If someone's showed you their real face, then just believe that... The, Understand that that's the truth and keep on going because something was like tangled before. And then all of a sudden it's like someone let go. They realized again like, oh, that's not true. You know, maybe I, I heard it's about what you can do in relation to uh, you and other people. Do you know what I mean? It's like someone's being more fully receptive to something. And there is a lot of emotional maturity here. You know, the Eight of Cups, to me, is, is a card of trust and faith. Uh, it knows it's going the right way. It, it knows that as it goes along, it doesn't always feel perfectly awesome. But, like, it's going towards better and better things. And... And then I'm seeing, like, hot cocoa. Um, and, like, someone's also, like, maybe part of the gift is also someone, like, 
something about creativity, something about someone creating something, you know, maybe for some reasons, some folks were like too distracted with, with other people, other people's issues to actually really focus on their craft, you know, and now there's an opportunity and I actually see there's a lot of support where it's like, yeah, do it. Somebody else had this with me, it was Pisces. It's like, yeah, here I'm, here I'm, so I'll, I'll support you, I'll hold you for a second, like, I need to get up there, and it's like, I got you, it's, it's very, there's some really sweet emotions here, in that way, Knight of Pentacles, yes, and it's steady, Ace of Cups, yes, Ten of Cups, wow, wow, so I guess, I guess we'll mention it, because we're talking to a lot of people, if you happen to be dating somebody where you don't trust them, Okay, two of pentacles, you go back and forth all the time, you don't know, I don't know if you're a hidden sleeper, or if you're, they sweep you under the rug, or, or it's just like some situationship, I don't know, like if there's no trust, then you, you know, really you could do a lot better. I mean, you'll probably be single for a while, you know, because like why would you accept the lie? Right? Why would you be blind to that? Two of swords. You know, it, things like that. You might, it might, you know, take from now to the beginning of the year to, to suss out, like, why well, I heard what's true to you. Right? Because a part of this could very well be, again, where there's a shift in mentality where a person's finally not lying to themselves anymore about what is possible, especially for you, Aries, emotionally with other people you know where it reminds me of that Aries what's your magnetic pulse reading when like when you can put your guard down you know where you can fully be yourself when you're comfortable that's who you're supposed to be around you know if you're ever in super always in warrior mode it's like it's not a let no no Okay, interesting. Okay, moving along. Let's see what we got here. We'll do 42. I actually want to take a second for Taurus. Let's do 4233. Taurus, let's see what Scorpio season is giving you. Happy opposite birthday. Ooh, temperance in the page of cups. Wow, so you have a major also. Okay. Let's see. Taurus, what? It's giving you an ability to practice something. Maybe something you haven't done in a while. Um, it's now until your birthday. Now until December. I see January, April, May. Interesting. Just a minute. Page of Cups and the Temperance card. What gift is being granted to you? Well, I guess you have an ability to be able to release something emotionally. Um... Like, you have an opportunity right now to make a ripple in the water. Um, but how do we make a ripple in the water? We have to, we have to throw something, right? We have to throw something away, if you will. We have to let go of something. And I guess in some ways, usually in that in that circumstance, we'd think that was fun, right? Like, oh, I'm going to throw this rock. You know, if you really want to crack yourself up, try to throw with your opposing hand. <laughs> so you let go of something. It causes, I heard this beautiful ripple. Oh, my God, didn't we talk about this? Taurus, the concentric circles. When did we talk about that? Like, okay, you're here, and then it's like, all right, then the wider circle and wider circle and wider circle. Was it you or Aries? Either way, same difference. Um, 
Both of these are Jupiterian too. So now until December. There could be a few things that are a little bit confusing. Okay. Uh, it just flipped to the hangman. It, here's more Jupiter energy. And Scorpio had that card. So you really want to trust yourself. You and Scorpio. Like you, Taurus, let's focus on you. I know it's so hard, right? Sometimes it's so easy to be so passive that everyone else is more important. I get it. But back to you because you are in charge of your life. And that is all. I'm getting like tight in my chest, but it almost makes me want to like sit up straight. All right, so someone makes really good chicken noodle soup. <laughs> okay, so Taurus, there's this ripple in the pond. I heard it's not this big clunk of like this heavy stone that you have to throw. You know, where you're like, oh, God, I have to get this here to do that ripple to do this. Like, It's just like walking down the shore, you know, maybe thinking about how you feel, you know, being conscious of that. Like figuring out like, wow, what is changing in this time? Like, wow, what have I been through since last year? You know, just kind of enjoying your own company I, I saw that and and then I saw someone just be like oh that's pretty and then like look down and, and there's like a stone and they're like huh and then they put that one back down they pick up another one and then see the water and they just look out upon it for a long time you know like wow this is where I am like wow this is this is the vastness of of what I'm able to connect with right now and you obviously with this ripple energy have some kind of authority in that situation you know cool now page of cups to me is also an artist card it's my artist card so it it also to me is a little if, if you have your, your your spirit team like that that's there's also a main character there but either way this artist card um Maybe some of you are trying a different means of creation to an extent, or like at least you're trying something out, you know. Again, for some of you, this could just be trying something different emotionally, you know. Because uh, technically temperance does sit between death and the devil, so it's a little bit of between a rock and a hard place. So maybe, again, until Jupiter goes direct, some of you may be a little bit like, Am I going the right way? <laughs> is this, I heard, is this how it's supposed to play? Like, is this how I'm supposed to play? I heard, just make sure you don't get in your own way. And on your path, you will stay. Okay. Love you, Taurus. Let's do 26. 48, 26. Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini. All right. What what good energy, Gemini? Oh, you have such a I love when you have that like innocence in you um that is light and bright. Um Okay, Gemini. Let's see what Scorpio seasons giving you for a gift, maybe something you got to let go of. Let's see. 6 of coins and the world. You also received a major. Okay. Uh, there's something about yellow flowers. I don't know if it's like, like yellow flowers, yellow roses. Um, okay, let's put it this way. All of us, no matter what, in Scorpio time, and this is the end of the Gregorian year, right? We're getting into that. It's like we all have let go of things. Think of from... Let's say we could even just look at this year, right? From January till now. That's an adjustment point, right? January to November is, is a huge adjustment point. And in essence, it's, it's how we build our soul. You know, like, um, so... And make our desires like a reality, you know. And, and sometimes those can totally like line up with 
with our soul, you know, in, in the, the human desire, right? And, and the soul being in tune with that, which is so beautiful. But I feel like no matter what, no matter what stage you're at, high, low, in between, think about what you have letting go of this here. And wherever you have purposely grieved something, or if you know in that list, it could have been since last year too. Some of you could go back three years if you really want to, but I don't feel like you need to go way, way into the past. Um, I mean, I guess there is something about nine years ago, but most importantly, let's just look at... I don't know why we're sticking on this. This year to now. It's like... I really feel like you completed something very beautiful. And because of that, you actually receive a gift. Like a really beautiful gift. And it changes your whole world, Gemini. It changes your whole world. Um... There's like more warmth than your belief. You know what I mean? There's like more... I heard there's more heat under your feet. Like happy. You know, it's like this in Spanish, right? Like happy. I'm happy. So again, if... Because again, no matter where you're at, I feel like there's something you might want to grieve during... Maybe it's even bury, like have a little mini funeral for something. You know, where you're like, okay, I'd really like to close. You know, I've been working through this. I haven't been dating that person for a long, like for X amount of time. I've been working, whatever the thing is that was outside of you. Because most wounding is going to come from that some way, somehow. It's like, have a little, I heard have a little mini ceremony to honor that, um, to let that go, and then also to honor where you are now. Interesting. Um, this could also show me one of the gifts that some of you could be receiving is that people are also seeking you out. Um, Like your services are desired in some kind of way. Uh, maybe the world is taking more notice of you. I don't know if this is literal, like more international, depending on what you do. Or if it's just like, you know, wherever you work and whatever you participate with. It's like people are, it, there's energy coming towards you. And I feel like it's fair. It's really fair. Uh Okay, I heard there's six, I know it's a little heavy, but you can do it. There's six funerals or like six things that you are no longer connected to. I heard they could be alive, but like there's no longer a connection. Like the cord is cut. That's the end of the story. It's separated now, right? No longer in the same frame. I feel like there are six of those situations. Maybe you just want to go over them and maybe that's what these six flowers are or something about that where it's like, okay, here's this for this, here's this for... Like this ceremony could encapsulate these major situations, right? Scorpio rules over death and change and this, again, disengagement because it really has nothing to do with the physical world, but like... But this physical world affects us... Uh, so deeply, right, in our soul. So, someone's offering you some kind of gift too. Again, and there's a map on here, but it, but this is like a part. This isn't the full map. So there's like a piece or two. You're a big part of this puzzle, though. You're a really big part of this puzzle, or somebody here. Uh, I guess this could be somebody else in your life, too, um, is a big part of this puzzle. Um, there's a lot of inspiration here. 
So yeah, I don't know if someone's looking looking at a map or. They're not worried about finding their way though. They're like really comfortable. They're like really good where you are. I guess something, oh, one last thing, practical, your Capricorn adjustment. Um, any bills you can pay, Scorpio rules other people's money. If you got any, any, if you got any debts, pay it. If someone's trying to help you financially, accept it. Like, uh, you know, realize that there, there's some kind of lesson with that too. And it, I heard that there's something that will open up for you. Yeah, star card. You know, maybe this is like where some of you have an awesome business idea or you have some kind of great idea and someone's just like, yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I want to do that. And someone's just like, oh, well, you know, I'd be willing to invest in that. It, it's there, there's something wider than just you in this equation, too. <clears throat> Interessante. Okay, let's go 5611 for Cancer. All right, Cancer. Let's see what Scorpio season is gifting you and perhaps what you need to let go of. Okay, it would make sense. You have minors here, so you've probably already let go of something quite major prior to this. Um, you received Six of Pentacles just like Gemini, so that's interesting, the neighbors matching different places though so one of the things that i guess you have to let go of in this time cancer is control and then i saw the whole water trine so scorpio pisces cancer this is more of the access between cancer and scorpio though give me a second Hold on, let me figure out what year this was. Two thousand. 2000 and hold on I have to do math I can't do math in my head to save my life <laughs> my grandpa can um okay that's 20 uh it's 30 2008 2008 is that what it is yeah 2008 something about that Okay, I know this is dense, but you I heard you can handle it, just like Gemini. Cancer, there are eight things. Uh, what are the eight words that when you hear them, maybe these are triggers. Hold on. We heard what words make you feel uncomfortable? What words make you feel uncomfortable? I guess in general, like what makes you feel uncomfortable? The eight things. Just figure out that. That's simple. Let's let's put this, let's not try to do these extra layers right now. We went all the way mine, you know, minuscule there, microscopic. Let's bring it back a little. What are eight things that bother you? I guess it could be in this moment, but I feel like this is more psychological. Like, <laughs> you know, like a slamming door really bothers you. Or like, um, when you feel like you're not allowed to say how you feel. Or, um, I don't know, when you can't be in control. I don't know. What, what is it? What, what makes you feel uncomfortable? 
like where you get really tight. You know what I mean? You don't feel, uh, your body freezes. It's, it's that kind of energy. I don't, I think it's less about, well, each their own. Let's move along. That's a deep one. King of Cups, yeah, so it could be, again, this is that water, it's that water trine. So Eight of Swords energy means that, I guess if you've been sleeping weird, it could get a lot better. But some of you have to change your diet. Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups, some of you have to... Uh, be more honest about how you feel. Um, maybe some of you, there's some fake friends. I don't know. Or somebody, uh, let's, what's this one? Eight of Wands. Well, again, I heard, what are the eight things that bother you? Right? And I heard, just make sure that you don't do them too. I'm getting a headache, getting such a strong headache. And you know what I was thinking about? I was looking down here, and I was like, there's this whole story about, like, how someone doesn't say how they feel. You know what I mean? Or maybe they feel like I shouldn't, you know, maybe this is something, too, is where some of me feel like, well, I can't say anything, or I'm not supposed to say anything. And you know what? Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're not. To that other person. To that whatever. Maybe you're not. But I heard you at least want to have the conversation with yourself. So that I heard things don't become stunted in in um, in the situation. Right? And I actually feel like a little bit of counsel during this time could be very helpful for you, Cancer, if you are open to it. Especially if any of you feel a little bit stuck. Like you feel like like your flames going out a little bit or like you um i don't know maybe it's even an astrological reading could be handy what are these ones also some kind of or right, cancer some kind of decision's been made someone made a very powerful decision here and in that uh Well, some, again, something's... I'm getting lost in your energy. I don't like that. Well, what are we doing here? We're kind of focusing on... Okay, instead of the thing being... Okay, the initial intention was, what is the thing that we have to let go of? Instead of actually pinpointing what that is... And being conscious of it. We just kind of rolled the conversation around. Started talking about other people. Started talking about these old experiences. Like, da -da 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 -da. it didn't, like, this, it, you want to, th that was very ungrounded energy, Cancer. That was very ungrounded. Nine of coins. You want to feel grounded in this time. But I feel like for some of you, it's the, you're grounded kind of energy. So I guess, again, there, there could be something that could need to be processed again that's very mental. That's like an ingrained memory. Maybe there's some readjustment or maybe some of you just aren't. If you've already addressed it, then maybe some of you just don't have to think about it anymore. I'm not talking about ignoring something. But like... Once it's been discussed, once it's been decided, once it's been processed, at least to a certain extent, you don't have to think about it anymore. It won't change anything to tell the same story over and over again. Four of Cups. No, it keeps the emotions very stuck. Okay. It actually, who mentioned that in the beginning? Capricorn, your opposite. It was just like, please watch Capricorn. So... Once whatever we're talking, five of coins, yes, they had this card. Please watch Capricorns, your opposite. 
once we talked about whatever we talked about there, what you end up as a gift is the Six of Pentacles. Is that a unicorn? Look at all this fruit in the sky. Is that Jesus? Who's that? Some kind of beautiful Messiah there. Some kind of prophet. Okay, remember, until the end of the year, Jupiter is in retrograde. So, sometimes you could get stuck in your head about things that, again, will just replay the story and won't change, I heard a gosh darn thing. Now, as Six of Pentacles for you being the gift that you're being granted, this means something balances out in ways of karma. So, maybe that's a part of it, is like, oh, I see. Maybe that's a part of it. Is that like sometimes there isn't an answer for the story to why things happened. And no matter how many times you go over it and come up with your explanations to all the questions, it's like it it doesn't necessarily sometimes make anything feel better. Do you know what I mean? And especially if we're talking about things like in Scorpio time having to do with death, right? I would say also for some of you, there's definitely someone who has passed in uh, something about November time. And, and also someone who has passed over that some of you don't want to let go of. Um, and in that sense, I feel like that kind of grieving, well, it's up to you. But I, I see this where it's just like, no, come with me. You, you, you're, I heard you're allowed to go. You know, like, I heard you're free. You're free, right? You're free to be cancer. But I guess there could be a little bit of struggle for some folks because I'm also seeing this where, like, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Right? So if this is having to do with other people in your life, you got to know that, and that that's letting go of the control. But also don't put so much on your plate that it's not fair. Once you fill your plate, I heard, then that's there. Right? Um... Any of you, I know so many Cancers are, are actually counselors. Um, so if any of you are counselors, it's like I guess you could have more clients in this time. Um, I guess if you're working in any kind of facility, there could also be like extra, there's extra energy going on there. Um, and apparently you can also, due to your own, I heard healing and awareness, Yes, um, I I heard uh, you can you can kind of help help some people see something Queen of Swords absolutely that maybe they couldn't see before, you know maybe even help some because someone's like putting I keep seeing someone putting like a sword in the sheath, Do you know what I mean? It's like okay, I'm putting away the sharp thing. And Six of Pentacles, yes, look at these sharp bloody scissors. Yeah, put those away, right? We don't need Six of Wands. Yeah, lots of sixes. Some of you need more orange things in your, in your diet. What colors are you eating? Uh, cancer, what colors are you eating? There is something about horse medicine that will help you too. I feel like you want to look that up. Um, and watch how other people's emotions stick to you too. Right, we talked about that with that body talk. You want to watch that, okay? Because I heard you got your own things to deal with. Five of coins, yes. And that obviously has to do with the health of you, emotionally, mentally. That is your physical health. You know, so nine of cups. So maybe for some of you, you could be feeling quite good, but the mental world might be a little funky. And again, I see some of you may be sleeping weirdly or someone, 
something something about that. Um, no, so I heard, remember the transference of energy? Interesting. All right. Let's see. What do we got? 1, 10, 10. 1, 10, 10, Leo. <laughs> I love you so much. These ones? Nope, middle. This one? Yes. Leo. So you've been all through this reading, in case you skipped ahead. You're holding some kind of, oh, yes, light in deep, dark Scorpio time. Good. Um, that's very good. Okay, Leo, what, what gift is um, Scorpio season giving you? Could also be a bit of what we have to let go of. Oh, some of you, your uh, psychic abilities are really enhancing. Uh, you could be having very strong dreams at this time, too. But I heard they're not what you... These visions, if you have visions, these visions aren't... Um, well, I heard these visions aren't always true, meaning they're not always literal. Okay? It's more sometimes about the feeling, like, what what does that feeling say to me? Right? If I visualize this... What is the feeling? If I think about this, what is the feeling? Uh, hold on. Oh, I guess part of this season is also giving someone that, well, it's giving someone again the gift of sight. A gift, there's also a gift of great knowledge here. Uh, like, they can see through the darkness. You know what I mean? Like, maybe if some of you have been stuck in the dark or you've been stuck in, like, stuck in somewhere or you felt confined in something, it's like, what is this, confined in something? It's just like, no, like, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm free. Like, I can, I heard I'm free to, I'm free to be me, you know. Uh, I would trust yourself, Leo, because you square this time. Please be cautious of angry people. Stay away from them. Okay, um, yes, the devil just fell on the floor. Yeah, no. There's the seven of wands twice now. Yeah, no, four of swords, no. I heard, think somebody else had this, like, think twice. It was Aries. It was like, think twice, the mean person will not be nice. Okay, just three of swords, no. Just be honest about who people are. Okay. Um, I would say, actually, if you're working through some heavier shadow stuff, you could go to Cancer, and that might help you, too. A lot of Leos actually are Cancer energy. Now, let me see here. I feel like, again, whatever your magic powers are, this could be creatively, it could be... Again, your own empowerment, your psychic ability, you're able to, to visualize your future and to hold that vision. Maybe this is meditation for some of you. It's like to be able to hold that vision or to be able to hold that attention. Your ability to be able to hold something in place uh, is being heightened. Interesting. Interesting. So something that was scattered, I guess, is becoming more fine-tuned, right? This little magnifying glass. It's like something is being focused in on. And whatever your focus is, it doesn't matter what's on the edges. If something's trying to, like, get your attention that's not healthy, it's just like, I feel like you are protected um, via, the, like, you're protected from that. What did we say last month? Don't let anybody take their, your power away from you. I see that. And they can't. That's the thing. Maybe someone tried to suck. Maybe there's an energy fool. Yeah, I'm seeing this as like, nope. Like, I see someone being conscious of like energy suckers. Interesting.
So the gift that Scorpio season again is giving you is the power, the, the gift of sight, of optimism, and of power in and of yourself, which is also very good boundaries. Some of you need that hardcore. Like, it's difficult for you to see. You know, like... I heard when you think the not nice ones won't be mean. It's just like, no. Maybe some of you just need to do a little... I heard... What's the word? Well, I heard you don't need someone to prove... Someone doesn't need to prove anything to anybody else. Their actions prove it. Do you know what I mean? So believe what you see, too, Leo. Believe what you see. And of course, there's another layer to that, right? You can always, to me, Leo can always see the optimism in any situation. You always see the good part of somebody, just like Libra. Ten of coins, yeah. You're like, beautiful flower. Ah, the, the, the thorn got me. Fuck, bleeding. It's just like, you don't blame, you don't, you don't blame the, the flower. But, I don't know what we're talking about here. Justice in the Page of Swords. But the kind of folks that you're wanting in your life, I guess, also allow them to see you. You know, you'll know, somebody else, was it Aries talked about this? It's like, You'll know the kind of folks that are meant to be in your life because they believe you. They believe in who you are. They believe, like, they know how much you give. They know how hard you work. They know, like, <clears throat> that it is a blessing to be a part of your life. Do you know what I mean? And they don't make it more difficult. You know, or try to try to blow out your fire. Do you know what I mean? Interesting. Queen of Coins. So I guess what you're what you're gaining here too, this gift is also giving you the gift of confidence. And again, who and what is supposed to be in your life pretty clearly. Good. We'll take that. 117, what we want to do? 40, let's do 47. I need a minute. A couple seconds. Thanks for all your support. Virgo. Okay. Virgo, let's see what the Scorpio season is giving you for a gift. Oh, well, all right, all right. Can't just have a gift, right? Give me my gift. I'm ready for my gift until we open up and let go of something. So, Virgo, part of what you were letting go of is Three of Swords. That's a pretty strong one. That's your energy. It's very air. You're very air to me. Hold on. Oh, you just get so deep, Virgo. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try to explain this plainly. God can move mountains. But don't be surprised when he gives you a shovel. Do you remember that reading? I think it was called, Get While the Getting's Good. Right? And you were walking up that mountain, going up that mountain, serpentining. Is that what happened? Was that that reading? It's so interesting. I'm seeing... Alright, it's, it's probably because we're getting into a new... Uh, new star hour but I'm almost seeing this as if this is one person's hands so 
Uh, let's talk about it for a second. So some way, somehow, a person, Virgo energy, you hear, someone feels like, I don't, I can't. I won't. How could I? I don't know how. Okay, this reminds me of your... Okay, let's back up a little. This reminds me a little bit of your October reading. What did we talk about last month? Just because something doesn't happen when you want it, how you want it, exactly, does not mean that you're not meant to take steps towards it. Because otherwise you are missing, you could be missing the blessing of it. Now, you also have this moon card here, which actually has a huge sun on it. So this is making me feel like this eclipse energy. So that is a six-month process, right? It goes from October till, um, oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, Virgo, you can roll with it. So the end of October, about a week from when I'm recording this, there's a full moon eclipse on the Taurus-Scorpio axis. Okay, this is a huge axis. 2-8 two, two in a map is enormous. But this is the last cycle in these eclipses. Now, maybe for some of you, you can go back to 20, uh, 2021. Okay, so that was about two years ago. 2021, these eclipse cycles started, particularly through Taurus and through Scorpio, which in essence has a lot to do with our own self-value, the debts we have to other people, um, what we're willing to put up with, with for abuse, like how hard we're willing to work, what we're willing to sacrifice, um, hopefully trying to find ways of compromise. This is also being conscious of your bank account. It, it's a huge, Taurus Scorpio access is huge because it, it doesn't only connect to all these internal, emotional, spiritual places. It also very much has to do with the physical world and love and all all the jammy, right? It's, it's deep there. So point being, 2021 might help you. Now, there could have also been something again, where whatever you've felt stuck about Virgo, Queen of Coins, you you have what you need. Maybe for some of you this is about uh Saturn. Um about the long term, because because it's almost like for some reason a person gets stuck in this present moment, Ten of Swords. I don't know if they get stuck in their own head about it or if it's just like, again, like a... Uh, I just smelled something weird. It's like... Well, I just saw something like I... There was something that, that caught... Okay, Virgo. We're getting too scattered. What was... who? Okay, Cancer did this too. Moon energy. Maybe some of you have a strong cancer and chart. Let's move on. The intention of fucking reading. The intention of this reading, Virgo, is to see what... Let's Okay, let's make it fun. Let's look at this as a slasher movie. What do we let die and what do we let live? Well, apparently what we let die is Three of Swords, which is just old pain that keeps us stuck and pretending like everything sucks when it doesn't. Or that we're, it, there isn't an opportunity to do it, so you, you sabotage something now in the present moment so that like you don't end up getting the thing that you want in the later, so you can complain about it. Truth! <laughs> so, let's let go of that. Part of this is also one of those things where this is also some really powerful Virgo energy where it's just like, I have to do it all by myself. I'm gonna do it by myself. I don't need if I can't if I can't get it done when I want, how I want, by myself, in my time frame, then I'm not even gonna bother. 
It's just like, well, maybe that's not God's time. Maybe that wasn't the plan. Maybe, maybe somebody else was involved, needs to be involved in the situation to actually make it happen. You know, and don't, I heard, don't be so stubborn and get in your own way, magician. Right? Because remember, to receive the gift of Scorpio time, which seems to be this big, beautiful sun and moon energy, which is showing me an eclipse of this struggle, you know? I mean, we just had to, I feel like Virgo's spirit team is pretty sassy too, but really, like, I feel like there's something that you generally, again, have gone about yourself. There's something that's always been a struggle for you that you haven't really addressed, but there's somebody else in your life. Look at this. It's like this person here is like, honey, whenever you're ready, I'm here to help. You know, and since this is a card of spirit, too, spirit's like, all right, you can struggle however you want like that. Like, all you got to do is uh, I come over here. And I heard, like, oh, this is Ryan Mini Capricorn. It's like, you know, okay, you can bury your fear. Interesting. Because what is moon? Uh, moon is is uh, in a positive, with, especially because this has all the sun energy. The gift that could be coming to you is actually a woman, for some of you, a female that's very helpful in helping you suss out something. Um, that you've been stuck about or that you're scared about emotionally, you know. Um, this person's obviously a little bit, this energy is a little bit sassy too. Um, but not, it's not rude. It's not pert. It's just um, patient, a very patient person right here. Um, some of you, this could also be the mother of your child or like the... the um, Yes, some of you are afraid of creating something. Why? Why? You don't have to be afraid. No, nope. Queen of Coins again. Empress. Ten of Cups. Six of Wands. King of Coins. So there's a match. There's something, Virgo, that you try to do all alone. You're not supposed to do it alone. You need you need somebody else. You need other people for it. They could very well be in your circles. For some of you, this is just your partner. Otherwise than that, it could be one of those, something beyond this. But, like, there's something helpful there. Now, Moon, again, in the positive, is also showing me this awareness. This is combining the sun, the sun and the moon. So this is part of the gift that's being received here is... Uh, emotional awareness with a high intellect. You know, it's logic uh, and 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 uh, a really positive feeling. Because whatever this thing you're trying to achieve, because this could be some huge goal for some of you where you're just like, I don't know, like I keep asking, you know. It's almost like someone's trying to achieve something huge, but they keep asking. I don't know if they're asking God or like they keep asking in a certain way where they're like, oh, well, I really need this. And it's like a small thing, again, in the now that has to do with something else further reaching. But it's like they don't realize that, that they keep doing this, but this doesn't actually ultimately do that. I heard it's like a spirograph. Um, it makes it longer. Um, so you want to start small. And also realize that maybe some of you are asking, you need to ask for different things. You need to ask for different things. Or like in a different way, you know. Let's give an example. Say someone's just like, I want more, uh, you know, I want uh, a partner. It's just like, okay. But it's, but it's more about, 
what kind of people do you want around you? What kind of person, right? Or say it's money, like, oh, I, I, need, I need money. Okay, for Saturn, for what? How much? Right, it's, it's, um, and then I see, how can you take small steps again? Interesting, Virgo, that one, got, okay, this is getting tripped out, we're definitely moving into some other, I kind of want to check, but it was Venus, alright, moving along, last but not least, Libra, what is it, 130, hold on. 55. Whoo, Libra. All right, let's, um, eight of wands. You get double eight here, 88. Let's choose your second one. Okay, thanks. And the ten of wands. Okay, you had double element, just like Capricorn. You also have minors, so there must have been, again, something major that you have already released. I heard congratulations. Yes. Um, you also, like a few other signs, are putting light into the darkness. Congratulations. Thank you very much for that effort. Now, part of what you... Okay, this is supposed to be the gift that Scorpio time is giving you. Uh, I see... I actually see a really, um... Well, I keep seeing like a Christmas tree. It's different though. It's like different, different energy. But, but. Something about that time. Hold on one sec. Oops. It okay. Hold on. Sorry, Weeba. This is one our session to be disrupted. Okay. Libra. What? <coughs> Hold on. I saw return to sender. Okay, so. There's something about your grandfather. Uh, there's something about the things on the walls, Libra. Things on the walls. Okay, your energy is much different than Virgo. Uh, give me a second. You're also last on this little roster wheel. What is the gift that Scorpio season is giving you? Well, I guess for some of you, you could receive a lot of work. Um, like there could be a lot on your plate, but I also feel like you can hand. I heard you can handle that. Uh, I heard lickety split chocolate cake. <laughs> like, you can, yeah. Yeah, the star in the judgment card. And the fool and the queen of pentacles. Wow. So, okay, let's watch it. When you put, sometimes you put a lot on your plate, right? Tower, yeah, and then it's too much and it gets too tilty. No, in this card, there are two eight, there's two eights. Okay, there's two eights. I heard there are two plates. Um, this is about we're balancing, right? We're balancing here. So, even if you're doing really well with something, even if you have a lot to do, I would say that you want to make sure that you give yourself two hours of downtime. You actually, I feel like most of you need two days off a week. It might seem basic. 
there's something about that one of them is rejuvenating like a rejuvenating day the other one is uh looking to the next week maybe this is just something oh my god you're being so practical in scorpio time i love it you're like okay darkness we're dealing with the darkness okay where's the light switch it's like you're <laughs> I'm not going into this pit all alone. No, Empress, like, where are we going? It's like the devil's right there. No, thank you. Right? I'm not going into this creepy forest, the enchanted forest, all alone. No, I don't think so. I heard, got my Bowie knife and my flashlight. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. No, I heard, you know that's right. <laughs> We're going to cut this card too. <laughs> okay. Good, I'm glad we got some humor in here. Virgo's kind of serious. So, Libra, I guess one thing you could be letting go of is stress. That's a plus. Uh, if you have any extra objects in the house, there's like extra things. I feel like you don't need them. Uh, I also sense, I'm also seeing something really cool where like, maybe you go through, you know how everybody has like those boxes of like papers? Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, your tickets from something, your, uh, these old Christmas cards, like, uh, you know, little pieces of paper, weird, like, band things. I almost feel like someone's, like, taking all this kind of stuff. I keep seeing go someone going through all this kind of stuff or, like, gathering it, be like, oh, this is all like this, this is all like that. And then... I actually feel like some of you could make something really creative out of all of these little things like this. I mean, I guess this is your experience in life, right? Like, oh, these were all the birthdays, and, like, these were all the... It's, it's kind of like... I heard the accumulation of the past into this present moment. Three of Wands and the King of Coins. Yeah, awesome. Super creative, actually. That also shows me an emphasis of some of you doing well in your business. I would also say uh, looking forward to um, this new year would be great. Uh, depending on where Jupiter is for you, some of you, it could feel a little bit, maybe it gets a little bit lonely or a little bit stressful between now and, it depends on much Virgo and Cancer's in your chart. Um, some Sagittarius too. Point is, is that uh, there might be a little bit of this energy until the end of the year when Jupiter moves forward. So watch your energy there. Okay. Also, Mars moving through your sign. Right. That that was pretty intense. Um, Okay, Aries had this reading a long time ago, like seven, eight, nine, right? So what it was? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm seeing these all as business houses, so let's just look at it for a second. Seven is the other people that you work with. It could be your clients, it could be whoever, your your business partner. Eighth house is about the money you make via other people. Ninth house is is God supporting that and also a, learn, a house of learning, education. Then we have 10, the house of your job. So these in your map, maybe you just want to look at that, like 7, 8, 9, 10. That quarter of the map is being highlighted. Um... Yeah, there's some kind of energy being released in ways of stress, Libra. I feel like you're becoming more comfortable, again, in whatever you're working on also. Like, whatever you're, wherever you're putting your effort, there's, there's some kind of comfortability there. I mean, Ten of Wands, again, sometimes is stress. You know, it's usually that character, like, carrying all the wands kind of awkwardly. But, like, this is more like, this is a ten-point buck. So that actually means how many years did it take to make this averagely? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's say the eight last. Look, maybe you want to look at the last eight years. How much you have grown. Right? I heard that you're still alive. Oh, happy birthday. Right? Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> now, I suppose if there's anyone in your life that we're, after you're done talking with them, after you're done interacting with them, like, however this comes, and it's only stress... Well, I heard if it's if it's not nice, then realize you're giving yourself less. Like if it's a constant stress or if it's constantly like uncomfortable or something. But like in ways of rejuvenation of energy, you may just need to watch it with all this fire for you. Because air, this is a lot of fire and air, fire needs air to keep it going. But that's a lot of going out versus you coming into yourself. So I'd also see some silent days. Could also be something for, I heard for some of you, that would be a wonderful time to pray. Also seeing the full moon here and like trees kind of illuminated by it. There's the moon right there, interesting. Who had the moon? Oh, Virgo. Okay. Oh, there's the Eight of Wands again and the Two of Cups. Beautiful. So again, this kind of emphasizes, again, really smooth communication with other people and, like, personally and professionally. Maybe some of you decorate your office, too, or something like that, like, um... I would pay attention to what is on your walls or like the objects like that matters a lot. Um, you know, maybe things just need to be cleaned or like put away or organized in some some kind of way, you know, because this is sort of like, again, a lot going. It, this seems like a lot going on to me. And then this is very clean. It's like, okay, here, it's just this one this is the main piece, right? Again, I feel like someone's like combining all these different parts and turning it into like all these little parts and like turning it into one bigger solid thing. It's not exactly like consol it's I guess it's a bit of consolidating. Um, Ten of Cups. But more than anything, I think it's I think it's creating space. It's being creative with what you have. And also realizing what you don't need. For instance, some of you have too many things. Or you don't realize the energy. You know, this is kind of like when someone has a lot under their bed. You know, I heard you only want to keep what you need. There's the Eight of Wands again. Interesting. All right, I guess that's that. Yeah, Page of Swords, we said it. Ten of Coins, perfect. Huh. If you are, actually, one last thing. If you are involved with someone right now, like where you're either married or it's a committed relationship, you know, where, like, say your finances are, like, connected there, I actually see between that relationship and your job there that there's something about those two it's, it's showing me this sextile energy where like spirit is really uh helping both of these combined or like it's expanding both of these i don't know if it's because one happened the other happened or because etc but there, there's something really positive sitting in between there um so I heard if, if there's anything in relation to either of these situations that you're working through that feels shaky, then watch Capricorn, your square.
Ten of Cups, yeah, because you don't have anything to worry about. Two of Cups, no. How beautiful. Okay. I guess that's that. Holy, one hour and 45 minutes. I honestly was like, oh, well, I bet we could get this out. I'll just do a little bit per sign. The end always gets a little extra. Libra, how was your birthday anyway? Did you have a nice birthday? Do you wish for anything on your birthday? Hmm. What's the last wish you made? Yeah. What is that? All right, once you've already decided, stick with it. Okay. Just work with what you have. Look at that, Eight of Wands. And some of you are so creative. Oh, my God. There's something you're going to create or something you've been creating. It's amazing. It's very much like something so intriguing. It's kind of like, what? What is that? Did you see that? It's like that kind of. No, so actually, if some of you are artists, too, or like however you're creative, if you're a little shy that way, like. I heard who, just just make it to make it, you know, don't don't worry about like what. I don't know, like, I guess how other people feel about it. It doesn't matter. If you're coming at it justice from a pure intention of creation, right? You're like, wow, this is fun. It's fun. This feels good to me. This is fun. Queen of Cups. Yeah, it feels good. It's like, and you're like in the flow of it, you know, when you're like in that creative zone. And it's just like you forget about time. And it's it's just like... You know, you don't worry about money. It's like it gets into that zone because you're always so serious, you know, like meaning when you're exalted in Saturn, it's like, of course, you're aware of all the things and and you can do that. But like, oh, I forgot to mention that. Let me let me close like this for, for those of you who are single too. some of you are purely focusing on your career and that's your main go. And you're like, I need to focus on this. This this, this is really important to me. If that's the case and you're aware of that, sure, go for it. There, there's no diss on that. But I heard if you are deflecting, trying, like, putting all your energy into your job so that you are, like, because you... Well, how do I explain it? Well, I see, remember to continue to expand your world in that which you are connecting to. You know, because some of you actually, I guess, are focus. Some of you are focusing on your work because I see. Because you know what, everybody here. You know what's funny? Sometimes I watch Tyler's tarot because he's just like gives a shit. Like he just doesn't give a fuck about what anybody else thinks. And like I'm pretty sure his readings have been the same. Like most tarot readers throughout the whole process. You know, it's just like different layers of it. But he literally said the other day. Again, I watch it for humor. He's like, he's just like, oh my god, someone has. Someone has integrity? He was just like, oh, I know that's nobody on this channel. You know, he's just like, I know that isn't my viewers. He's just like, must be a cross-watcher. And it, what's weird is when I heard that, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. Because I feel like everyone here has so much integrity that they're always like, ah, oh, is it me? Like, what, what did I do? Like, ah, you know, Death Guard. It's like, ah, I want to fix it. I want to my soul journey. You know, and it's so beautiful to watch and witness all this hard work and like growth in people and it's so amazing so if for some reason you have been focusing on your work so that you could heal yourself in your heart and emotionally some of you are very much ready for that or at very least again like to open up in i don't know like putting spreading your energy a little bit farther now i'd say over the winter it's probably more of that but like as the sun starts to the light starts to come out then be be open to that you know maybe it's just connecting with some old friends or like making some new friendships or things like that okay 
And you don't have to be afraid of love, any of you, because that could be one of those things. The reason I brought this up, too, is because some people may be like, well, I'm not ready for love. You know, I'm not ready for romance or like, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for this next step, whatever this is. But I actually feel like because of the integrity, it's like, yes, you are right. Because like Virgo said, we can't wait till everything is like perfect to be able to make it happen. Do you know what I mean? Nothing is ever like that. No, temperance, life is, you know, the moon, the sun and the moon. Anyway, that's the end of the story. I love you so much. I hope this was helpful. Happy Scorpio season. And uh, we'll have our full readings um, in a little bit. I'm just not rushing it right now. All right. Love you so much. Peace out.